Hello dear students, this is grade 11 mathematics lesson on unit 5 sub 16 probability. Today we will focus on measures of dispersion. After reviving this lesson, you are expected to compute range for group data and compute standard deviation and variance also for group data. Let's see what measures of dispersion means. The degree to which the numerical data is spread about an average value is called is variation or dispersion of the data. For example, if we have a certain data here and different data surrounding this average value, It's dispersed here, and again, if we have another certain data, if take these two, if you see these two, this data set is highly dispersed about this center point. And this set of data is dispersion about this center data is almost small. So dispersion is simply it is the degree to which a numerical data spread about a certain average value. So the common measures of variation or dispersion of data are range, variance and standard deviation. Range is simply it is the difference between the maximum and the minimum value. So simply uh, range is equal to this maximum value minus minimum value. Range for group data defined as the difference between upper class boundary of the highest class minus the lower class boundary of the lowest class. This means if we have a certain set of uh, data with arranged in uh, it's a grouped data assume this one 0 up to 10 from 11 up to 20 from 21 up to 30 from 31 up to 40 if we have this group data To calculate range for this group data, we need to convert this into class boundary. So when you convert this into class boundary, the difference is this 1 and divided by 20.5 correction factor. So you will have this point will be this, this is negative 0 0.5. So and this value will be this 40.5. Here it says Range is simply, you take the difference between upper class boundary of the highest class. The highest class here you see this one, is upper class boundary is this 40.5 minus the lower class boundary of the lowest class. The lowest class is this one, its lower class boundary is this negative 0 0.5. The difference between the two, 40.5 minus negative 0 0.5 to give you 41. So it will be the range of this data set arranged in a group. Therefore, you can apply this formula to calculate uh, range for group data. Now let's see variance. Variance is, it is the average of the squared deviation of each item from the mean. Therefore, here if we have a certain set of data from x1 up to xn, these are n observation, then the variance is given by simply taking the deviation of each value from the mean and you square it. This x1, that is deviation from the mean squared plus second data is deviation from the mean squared plus it is xn minus x bar, we have n set of data, so you 
add the deviation of each values, the square of the deviation of each values from the mean. So it's x n minus x bar to all squared. I over, you have to average this one over, the total set of data is n over n. So you can write this in this form. Simply it is the summation of x i minus x bar the whole squared over n. When i is 1, it is x1 minus x bar squared. When i is 2, it is x2 minus x bar squared and so on. Therefore, you can write this uh, equation in this form. So where x bar here, x bar is simply it is the mean. So we have x1, x2 up to xn data. So their mean is given by this x1 plus x2 plus up to xn divided by n. Okay. And the standard deviation is simply this, the square root of variances. Now, let's see example for this. Find the range variance in standard deviation for the following set of data. Here we have this one, 5, 8, 8, 10, 11, 11, 11, and 16. So, we need to find the range. To find its range, simply take the difference between maximum and minimum value. The maximum is 16, the minimum is this 5, their difference gives you 11. Now, to find the variance, first I need to find the mean. The mean of this set of data, simply add and divide 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 data, so add and divide by 8. When you add this, you get 80. Divided by 8 gives you 10. Please check the numerical value of this at the end of the lecture. So, it's a mean is this 10. Next, we can just use the formula to calculate the variance. The sum of the square is the division of each value from the mean and its average. So, variance equals to the first value is 5. How far it is from the mean? 5 minus 10. It is 5 minus 10 squared. Plus, here we have two eights, so eight minus this eight. How far is it from the mean? It is ten times, so eight minus ten squared. We have two eights, so two plus ten. Ten. How far is it from the mean? It is ten minus ten squared plus eleven. Eleven is how far is it? Eleven minus ten squared. How much times? We have three. So, 3 times plus 16 minus 10, the whole squared, divided by total data set, it is 8. So, you'll have 5 squared 25, 8 minus 10 is minus 2 squared, it's 4, 4 times 2, 8. This one is 0, 11 minus 10 is 1 squared, is 1 times 3, 3, plus 16 minus 10, it is 6 squared, is 36. When you add this, you'll have 72 divided by 8. 72 divided by 8 gives you 9. So, this is a variance. And to find the standard deviation, simply you take the square root of variance. So, standard deviation is the square root of 9. It gives you 3. Let's see these measures of dispersions for group data. Variance for group data is given by this equation, this formula. It is a summation of xci minus x bar squared times by its frequency, by its corresponding frequency, divided by the summation of the frequency. In this case, xci is simply it is the class midpoint of i's class the class midpoint of i's class, and fi is the corresponding frequency of that class. So, x bar is a mean. x bar is the mean. Uh, this one is a summation of uh, the frequency. So, here, for example, if we have certain class for the first class, if we have 0 to 4, for the next class, 5 to 9. For the next class, 10 
to 14 and so on if we have this and here the class this one is the class and the frequency assume this two three five XC the class midpoint the class midpoint of each class is simply obtained by averaging this upper and lower class limit simply take 4 plus 0 it is 4 divided by 2 2 it gives x is 2 for this part and here 5 plus 9 is 14 divided by 2 it is 7 and the same is for this one 10 plus 14 24 when you divide 24 by 2 we'll have 12 so xc means simply it is it is a class midpoint of each class and x by the mean and if i is the frequency of each class the frequency of each class so here to use this formula the class midpoint of each class is just that you simply you calculate the deviation of the class midpoint of each class from the mean and you square it and you multiply by its corresponding frequency and you divide by uh, the sum of the frequencies okay and to calculate the standard deviation simply you take the square root of this expression standard deviation is the square root of variance so the square root of this expression will be standard deviation now let's see example for this Example here says find range variance in standard deviation of uh, the following data. Here it is given. Uh, simply it's the age distribution. For the age from 0 to 4, we have to we have 4. From 5 to 9, we have 8 data. And from 10 to 14, we have 2. And from 15 to 19, we have 1. So to find these values, we need to arrange this uh, in this tabular form. These are the class from 0 to 4, 5 to 9, 10 to 14, and 15 to 9. And the frequency of each class is given. The frequency is 4 for the first class, 8 and 2 for third, and 1, 4 for this class. After this, we need to find class mark or a class midpoint of each class. The class midpoint simply you take 0 plus 4 over 2 you average upper and lower class limit 0 plus 4 over 2 it gives you 2 and 5 plus 9 is 14 divided by 2, 7 10 plus 14 it is 24 divided by 2 it gives 12 15 plus 19 divided by 2 it gives you 70 and we need to find this one, f times xc, the product of the frequency and the class midpoint of each class. So, frequency and the class mark, 4 times 2, 8, 8 times 7, 56, 2 times 12, 24, 1 times 17, 17. And the sum of these frequency times the class midpoint gives you this 100 105 and the sum of frequency here you will have 15 now we have also class boundary take the difference of the two 1 divide by 2 0 0.5 subtract 0 0.5 add 0 0.5 you will have this one so next to this let's find first the mean from that set of data. The mean is simply the summation of the frequency times the class midpoint of the corresponding class and divided by the total summation of frequency. So here, the summation of frequency times class mark is this 105. Therefore, it is, therefore it is 105 divided by the sum of the frequency it is 15 therefore you have 15 so 105 divided by 15 gives you 7 so we have the mean we have the mean next the range 
range is it is a difference between upper class boundary of the highest class, this one, upper class boundary of the highest class. The highest class is this one, its upper class boundary is this 19.5 minus the lower class boundary of the lowest class. The lowest class is this one, its lower class boundary is this negative 0 0.5. The difference between these two, 19.5 minus 0 0.5 gives you this 20. Therefore, the range will be this 20. Next, variance. Variance is given by this equation. It is simply, you take the deviation of the class midpoint from the mean. So, the class midpoint for each class for the first class, class midpoint is this 2. So 2 minus the mean is it is 7. 2 minus 7, how the frequency is this 4? 4 times 2 minus 7 squared. So you have this one. 2 minus 7 squared times 4 plus for second class, the frequency is 8 and the class midpoint 7. So 7 minus is the mean is it is 7. Therefore, 7 minus 7 squared times the frequency 8. 7 minus 7 squared times 8 plus next. Here the class mark is 12. 12 minus 7 squared times 2. So 12 minus 7 is all squared times 2. Plus for next class, the class mark is 17. The mean is 7. 17 minus 7 squared and times 1. 17 minus 7 the whole square times 1. So divided by the total frequency is equal to the sum of the frequencies 15. So this is equal to when you compute this one, you will have 250 divided by 15. 250 divided by 15, it gives you 16.67. After this, we have found the variance, Nikus standard deviation. Standard deviation is simply this, the square root of variance. So the square root of the variance 16.67. So the square root of 16.67 gives you this, it is 4.08. Summarize what we have seen today. The range of group data is given by this equation. It's the difference between upper class boundary of highest class minus lower class boundary of the lowest class. And variance is given by this formula. It's a deviation of the class midpoint from the mean squared times frequency divided by the summation of fi where i starts from 1 up to n. And to find standard deviation, standard deviation is simply the square root of variance. This is all. So, uh, please try exercise 5.10 on page 183. This is all about today's lesson. Until next class, goodbye.